Hello everybody, uh, using the sky cam today, so you're just going to see my hands moving a bunch. Uh, I don't know if you can actually see my head. So, we are working on the stampede again. So after you've done all the basic uh, mods, which are the spring replacement, the air restrictor removal, uh, so on and so forth, uh, if you haven't done those, go back and do that first. Here's a video link uh, for that video to show you how you do that. So if you haven't, then go click on that now. So if you're still watching, then you've already taken the air restrictors out and replaced the spring of your stampede. So then, here's the next part of this mod. Open up your blaster. Now mine's closed already. You need... Uh, we're going to be messing with the voltage now. <laughs> Please do not attempt this mod if you have no idea what you're doing with batteries or electrical circuits. It's very dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. Like, for instance, I wear two rings. I took both of them off in doing this mod, and I have myself grounded. That way I don't send an electrical shock through my body. That would be kind of bad. Anyway, if you know what you're doing with electrical circuits, uh, disassemble your blaster. The uh, battery imports for the uh, where the battery pack slides in have been uh, connected to two uh, long wires which have clamps on the end of them. So they're clamped on the inside on the positive and negative. So now we can go over voltage. Here's the basic stampede setup. So if I clip it on here, can put which one would this be? So the Sorry, I have to figure this out. <laughs> Positive would be the one to the right. So that one. The positive wire is red. So black goes here. So if we tuck that in. Nope, got it backwards. Darn it. Alright, so if we plug this in, here's what... Uh, the stampede fires off stock as the 9 volts. Kind of slow now that we've upgraded the spring. Now I'm going to try not to fire this too much because I took the air restrictors out, so this is technically pretty bad for it uh, as it fires. Now that's, uh, each battery is 1.5 volt. That's every battery. The only difference between size is how long they last. So technically, six double A batteries equal the same as six D batteries. They just don't last as long. So I'm planning on putting just a little bit more power than normal into this blaster. So if I thought about this is nine volts, so I'm gonna put in about 12 volts. This is a solid state lead acid alkaline car battery. It is 12 volts. It also lasts a very long time. You'll also notice it's gigantic size, it's very heavy. You would never actually put this in a Nerf blaster. The reason I have it out right now is this is the desired voltage that I'm going to be putting in here. This just holds that volt for months at a time. So here's a demonstration with the 12 volts that I'm going to be pumping through this blaster. So now that those are fired, That fires at a very quick rate. It's uh, slightly faster than stock, even with the new spring upgrade. So that's 12 volts. Each battery is a volt, is 1.5 volts. So eight AA batteries equal 12 volts. So this fires at the same speed that this does. It just doesn't last as long. So I'll need to change the batteries often. Also. Uh, none of these batteries are new. They've all been previously used in other things. I've just kind of taken them out uh, for video demonstration purposes. So this will fire a little bit uh, under what it normally would. It's just because uh, some of the batteries are dying. So here's your firing demonstration. So it's not quite as fast as uh, this, but it will be when it's uh, when I fully recharge all the batteries. So how do you get this? in here. Well, that's the next part of your rod. 
So, the way I'm doing it, and I will give you step-by-step -step instructions, uh, just not right now, so I'm going to give you an overview. The way I'm doing it is taking this, cutting out these three plastic pieces, and putting that uh, right there in its place. I will then, by, from there, the wiring is elementary. The red wire goes here, and the black wire goes here. I'm going to solder them there. But I'm going to leave this so I can still open it and remove the lower batteries. So I'm going to create a clip system for it. So that increases the voltage and makes it much lighter weight, which is easier to handle. Alright, so onto the battery pack. Uh, it's 12 volts. It's four AA batteries on each side, so eight AA batteries. And then I created posts for it. Now that's uh, soldered in, and then it's wired up to the uh, original battery holders. This I cut down all the way, so it's just the end, which makes room for this. Now the only problem here is I have to take the whole blaster apart to put the batteries back in, which is going to be annoying. But... Whatever. I'll do it differently on the next one. Pretty much that's all I can do for now. So, I'm going to reassemble it and show you how it works. Going to try this with the 18 shot clip. So again, this is 12 volts. Ready? Excellent. I'm very happy. 